Michael Gregomanti is asserting that some, in the, some associations in the industry need to be shut down for easy decisions to be made and also Captain Planet saying a lane fierce to all fans that 4x4 is not defunct you or welcome to the 10 minutes of ride into the world of entertainment. The name is IB and this is Showbiz Now. As too many associations in the entertainment industry, that is what Marco Kekumante is saying. Well, President of the Creative Arts Council, Marco Kekumante, has stated that decision making in the entertainment industry has been stifled because of the influx of many associations. On Daybreak Hit show with Andy Dorsey, Max stressed that in order for decisions to be made easier in the entertainment industry, most of these minor associations group that cut across the various sections of the entertainment industry must be shut down. Well, in a convo on the show, he explain further people are just forming associations men in movie women in television television <laughs> the same people you find them at five pack you find the same people at actors guild i mean and ask, let's find out because it's very easy to form associations and it's very easy to become a member without paying dues everybody's a member of somewhere we must go back we should drop all our arsenals all these associations we must drop most of them and then have a smaller grouping so that decision making will be easier because at the moment if you like go and talk to five park a few weeks later you hear women in film directorship uh, which is uh, which is what is your man's associated uh, associated i mean all these things crew members yeah <laughs> so it becomes Association. it becomes blair or ambiguous well, those were the voices of Marco Quickumante, Andy Dusty, and Prince Sugar all on Daybreak Hit. Well, some group, sometimes group performances are limiting, and this is coming from Captain Planet. <laughs> Member of the Hip Life Group 4X4 Captain Planet says that his solo act lately are an attempt to satisfy his fans who may not have been getting enough of him as a member of a larger group. Well, the artist in recent times has released a number of singles on his own, including the latest song, Obia Jobi Girl. After most fans of the group have raised concerns that this move may be indicating trouble in the camp of 4X4, Captain Planet has allayed all such fears. He spoke to Dorian Andor on the Cosmo Mix on Joy 99.7 FM on Tuesday. The group is something that, that is ride and die thing. Right. But out of the group, we can do solo music, like the one mm -hmm. I'm doing now. Fresh Prince does solo music. Could it does yeah, music. It, it was still something that was allowed yeah. amongst yeah. yourselves. Okay. Sometimes people want want to have a feel of Captain, Captain Planet, Planet or, and, yeah. or Code because, and because or Prince. We are in a group. Right. It, 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 it limits everybody in the right. group. But because a group, we have to cut my rap. Sometimes they have to cut it short. Coded mm -hmm. song, they have to cut it. Fresh mm -hmm. Prince, we all have to. So at the end of the day, you do, yeah, people don't really f feel you to the fullest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And know? one one thing people are forgetting is if I do a song and it becomes a hit, mm -hmm. all in the name of Forex, for it keeps the uh, the group relevant and right. it keeps the name alive. Right. Yeah. So at least now we've gotten some affirmation that the group 4x4 is still together. And Captain Planet is out with a new one, Ganging and Banging. Well, let's take a look in to what is happening in the world of entertainment on the foreign front. And Michael Douglas discusses his son's battle with drug addiction and imprisonment. What are you, some kind of energy freedom fighter? No, no Mr. Gekko, I'm in this game to make money like anybody else. So what about money, Jake? You like her? Do I like her? Yeah. I've never, I've never thought about money as a she. Oh. Michael Douglas is opening up about the very painful and difficult battle his son, Cameron Douglas, has had to overcome in recent years. Well, the eldest child of the Fatal Attraction star struggled with addiction years before ultimately ending up in prison for the possession of heroin and selling off methamphetamine 
in 2010. But according to the star, that's all in the past now. My son's struggle was a nightmare. It was a very stressful, it was very stressful for everyone involved and very painful and difficult. I'm happy to say that he is in a wonderful shape now. Well, the radio, he told Radio Times. The third nine year old was released from prison in August 2016, seven years after his conviction. And since then, he has welcomed a baby girl into the world. At the time of a daughter, Laura Easy's birthday, Cameron said a lifetime of love fulfillment awaits the utterly totality. Well, Michael Douglas says that Catherine Zeta Jones earned it. And Steve Harvey returns as 2018 Miss Universe host. Well, he's back. Steve Harvey is set to return to the 2018 Miss Universe host. On Tuesday, Fox announced that the Emmy Award winner will take the stage in Bangkok in Thailand, where the three-hour competition will take place on December 16th. Well, if you catch your mind back in 2015, Steve Harvey 61 famously named the wrong winner during the pageant. After initially announcing that Miss Columbia, that is Adriana Guterres Arevalo, was the night's biggest winner, Steve revealed that he had made an error and Miss Philippine Pierre Alonso Wushbag was in fact the winner. Nobody feels as worse about this than me. The Family Feud host also told reports about the mix-up. Along with Harvey, reigning Miss Universe Demi Leah Peterson from South Africa will also return this year to crown the successor. And let's check out what is happening in the box office. And these are the countdown. We're continuing the countdown that came just started on artists on actors that you didn't know are dead. And making it to number seven or number six is Lee Thompson Young. Thing so you need. we can find a way to make it happen, son. Come on now. It can happen anytime, anywhere. I don't even know how it happens. Alistair, you're alive. Six months from now, you saw it. You saw it, man. You saw it. But if I'm not here. Come on, Al, get down. If I'm not here, it means we can change things. Al, uh, please get down. What I saw, I killed him. At the time of his death, Lee Thompson Young had shaken off his Disney Channel past to shine the detective bar front on TNT cop show Rizzoli and Isles. Well, behind the scenes, though, Young was afflicted with depression and bipolar disorder. While wow, making it to number five is Mark Michelle Clark Duncan. These chairs, I'm gonna call it, to use Cavassier's words, the no count corner. So this half of the room, the laughing 50% of you that won't graduate school, get the step to the no count corner. Come on, drop out, step in the corner where you belong. Come on, let's go. Come on, move. Y'all moving too slow, move. Get in there, get in there. Not so funny, Known for playing the gentle giant in many movies, Duncan also possesses massive amount of talent as a dramatic actor. He was in Amargadon, Daredevil, and in the adaptation of Stephen King's Great Mile. He died from a heart attack in 2012. And on number four, Benny Mark. Dancing, working, living in the new. Bucket naked. You can see they public hairs. This white man went from village to village to seek out these beautiful black women, watching them perform in the new Dennis Ace for free. A member of the original Kings of Comedy, Mark started off as a stand-up comedian. His most known role includes Charles Angel, Full Throttle, Ocean's Eleven, and Transformers. He passed away in 2018 due to pneumonia caused by his sarcoidosis. Well, that is the countdown, making it to number four, but Kendra is going to be back at 12, and he's going to continue till the top one. My name is Ivy, and I know that you've had a wonderful time, but don't flip off the channel. Stick and stay, because we have a lot of excitement for you. Many thanks going out to Mizan Hardman and Woodin for this tailored-made suit by with the fabric. Well, 12 o'clock, KMJ is going to be back and he's going to be giving you more. Stick and stay.